okay welcome so this will be a top five best 30 dollar and under earphones it's pretty much around the 30 dollar price range so most of y'all can afford it this is the best that you can buy as of right now this list would probably change in the next six months because there will be better products then and i'll probably update this video by making another list by then so number one would be the jade audio ea1 this is a fantastic sounding earphone i really love this earphone so much now that i'm almost retracting some of the negative comments uh, sorry the negative assessment that i give to it while i was reviewing it uh, if i i really feel like going back to review this product over again for you guys but this even has really grown on me so much over the few months that i've had it it is well made the cable it comes with is fantastic i don't even use it with a cable i made this a wireless outdoor flexing earbud for myself it is that good but it is good when you put the right ear tips on it it is a bad sounding earphone if you don't get the ear tips right so ear tips matter with this set this set is not like my other budget sets that could work with any ear tip this the, the first time i got it and i slapped on the regular tips that came with it it first gave me discomfort and i didn't like the sound it was producing that much I felt it was bassy and unrefined. I felt it was like a blonde BLO3. So when I reviewed it, I called it a blonde BLO3 brother. But when I finally changed the tips to a very semi narrow wide ball tip, because there is this uh, semi narrow wide ball tip, then I elevated the, the tip. There is a the way you can elevate the tips of the nozzle. So the sound just doesn't beam into your ears and give you a crappy distort and i will call it just a sound but kind of like an uncontrolled refined sound uh when i put in put on a very special tip from one of my other iems i i'm not gonna lie to you the sound just became night and day it is clear there is detail the base the bass hits hard and there is no need for you to really like I'll over amplify the bass because it is okay and it's clean now like literally there's detail and the trap like literally this earphone has good treble and this is coming from somebody that really doesn't see much of treble in you know all this budget said so the only other budget earphone that's giving me the best treble in the budget segment is the kz edx and this sounds almost like the kz edx when you put the correct tips on it, it has enough treble and clarity is there i understand it's not the most analytical but it is it has very good amount of detail and i actually love the earphones so this is my best budget 30 dollar set that you can buy uh the next one is the kz dq6 okay so let's talk about this kz dq6 people have asked me a lot about this kz dq6 so the thing here is that the KZ DQ6 is a V-shaped earphone. It's um, it's an average sounding earphone. It's not perfect by any means. It's not my f like. It's not that favorite earphone that I can come and hype. Uh, when it came out, it was just there for me. It's not better than the EA one. It's not even better in any way shape or form and sound but it is good for what it is it's a basic set um treble is a little bit wonky on it you don't really get the finest detail it is a bit shrill and uh shouty on some occasions really if you amplify the volume but it's okay at least it's easy to drive from the sensitivity is 112 decibel at 24 ohms so it's relatively easy to drive from most devices i'll suggest you use an amp but it is not bad it's not a bad set so you can check it as about 29 28 dollars next one is uh, another set that i don't know it's an average set it's the tin fit one plus you know 
I, I felt this would compete with the Jade, but it did not. It did not. It's a good set. It's not um, the best budget earphone you can buy. It's not even as good as the e EDX from KZ, but it's good enough. It is. This sounds like a blonde BLO3 with a little bit less bass, but with less treble than the blonde. The blonde has more treble. But this one has less treble and lesser bass. So I don't know whether I, I will say I like the blonde BLO3 better than this or I like the... Actually, actually, I like the blonde BLO3 better than this. The blonde BLO3 produces very good sound for movies and this does not. Uh, this for movies is woolly. Like there is a foggy veil in its sound but for music it is not bad but for movies i didn't really enjoy it for movies so the blonde blo3 is actually better than this but it's not a bad set i still have it in my box i don't use it any longer but it's still a good set that i can recommend and it's the cheaper of the of the other three i've mentioned or oh, sorry of the other two i've mentioned uh so this you can get it for 23 24 bucks so I'll leave links. Do check it out. Then number four is the Blonde BLO one. This is a dark tuned earphone. So if you are a big fan of the BLO3, you will like this. This is a very similar sound to that. The only thing that this doesn't have like the BLO3 is the treble. The treble is restrained on the treble. The treble is restrained on the uh, the. the the treble like the treble is really restrained on this particular set so that is really just the only deficiency i could find now the cable it comes with is absolute trash the box the accessories is absolute trash so i'm not recommending this to somebody that just wants to buy an earphone and have everything work out of the box if you want to buy the blo one just make out maybe five dollars extra that's why i said under thirty dollars that because i know you would probably spend another five dollars for a spare cable or maybe two dollars for ear tips probably everything comes to because this is about 20 bucks you can catch it on sale for like 18 bucks you can get a cable an upgrade cable for like eight bucks then spend like i don't know two or three dollars extra for ear tips because the air tips it comes with is that they are not very good so uh that is the only big problem with the blo one but i think if you buy everything all together upgrade cable ear tips with it it's still about 30 bucks less than 30 bucks if you if you know what you're buying um so that is the number fourth earphone that i recommend the number fifth one my least favorite but i can still recommend it because it is it's not great or good to a large extent but it is not bad by any means is the kbl hack it's um it's a single dynamic single balance amateur set it's a very analytical clean sounding set it's very easy to drive this thing powers very well off a phone you don't really need an amp for it my only worry about most people that are buying this is the treble there's some people that would really not like this for the treble it is very detailed but the treble is a little bit annoying for me it's not the treble wasn't tuned very perfectly but it's fine the only issue i have with this is that it has a very narrow sound stage and i can manage a very clean sound if you can actually have an expansive sound field so this has a very narrow narrow sound stage and the mids are lean so it has a very lean sounding tuning to good to it the bass is lean the mids are lean and the treble is accentuated thereby making the sound bright lean and i'm not a big fan of those kind of bright lean sounding earphones but a lot of people like the lock a lot of people are recommending the lock and i don't dislike the lock i still have the lock but i i know that there are better 30 dollar sets out there but for somebody that wants 
to probably monitor maybe you're a youtuber you need something to monitor on your pc this would be very good for you because i, I think it's a very an analytical set it may not be correct in its analytical representation because the timber in on it is not that great but it it is it is not basic it is not um powerful in its sound so i think you can use this to mix your audio uh, and all that so that is it so that is it um that's the top five you can pick right now i'll be sure to leave links and everything i said in this video in the description uh use that and uh please follow us here on our youtube channel do subscribe like our content follow on social media i'm gonna see you guys next time